think we're in focus. Hey guys, so I am filming um, not a sit down video today or it may become a sit down video, we'll see. Um, but because of all this quarantine, isolation stuff that's going on at the moment, um, I have been like looking for something creative to do. And of course, when I wanna like let out some creative energy, I like to cut things up. The thing that inspired this was, just excuse me why I moved my things off my bed, um, was, Ooh, I found all of these like in like a random box in my room um, so it's like chains and there's like lots of like rings and you know see what I mean like lots of rings and spikes and also just like a bunch of like like crappy quality body jewelry um i was thinking like what can i do to like what can i cut up and what can i take and my original idea was that i was going to maybe play with this bag here but i thought it might be too hard to start and then and then then i found this jacket so um i've had this jacket for a while and i just have not known what to do with it um, sorry, I'm looking for something in particular. Um, let me just show you. So it's just like this big oversized, um, let me zoom, uh, this oversized coat and it is a bow lever and it's a size large. Um, excuse me why I awkwardly focus everything. Um, it's a size large and it just like doesn't fit me properly. The shoulders are quite big on it and they always drop off. So I have been wanting to like do something with it and I'm thinking this is going to be the project that I'm going to attach all the all of the chains and piercings and stuff to. Um, this is the back of it. So also a big space to paint. So what I've done to start off with is I've taken off the like belt that was around it um just because nah whatever and we're going to attach an alternative alternative belt to it so give me two seconds i've like popped the chain on to like cinch it in so i hope that gives it a bit more shape now um yeah this is what we're going for this is the start of hopefully a much cooler coat okay so that is the start of the coat. Um, this is probably gonna span over a few days because I don't wanna like rush this. I wanna make sure that um, like the coat, I don't just like slap a bunch of DIY stuff on there and then the coat's like not super wearable. Um, so I'm gonna take my time to plan this out. Um, I look a bit done up today, even though we're in isolation because um, I just took like an outfit photo outside. So next time you see me, it'll probably be giant hoodie barely any makeup on and um, just chilling. And we will get this coat on the road, get it looking cool, make it something better than it is now. I'm very excited. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so today, it's been two days since I last filmed that last footage and today we're gonna work on the coat again. Today is going to be the like painting portion of it. So uh, we have some big plans for the back of the coat. Gonna put some like giant words over the back. I think I know what I wanted to say. Uh, and when I say we, I mean my housemates. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Say hi to my camera. Hi. This is my housemate, Alyssa. Um, she is gonna help me paint the coat. But first what we're gonna do is we're gonna map out like what we want to put on the coat. Um, like with all the studs and the rings that I showed you guys in the last video or last clips. Um, so, I'm gonna grab the coat. I have this idea for the back of the spine of the coat where we could stick the studs down the spine. I've got like 120 spikes, so I think that will probably work down. And then I thought that the um, sleeves around here could have spikes on them too. The idea for the text, and I have a photo, um, which is, I was, about to show, I was about to show everyone my passcode. <laughs> so one of my favorite singers in the whole world has this coat, uh, coat and on the back of it, it says your pretty face is going to hell. But I think that's gonna go across the back here. Yes. Yep. And we can figure out like the text and stuff like that. Do you want the text to be um, in the same positions or can it be anywhere? Um, I kind of think like... I think it would be cool if it was larger. Yeah. Like I think I want it to be like obvious. Um, but I'm thinking like like central but not as in like even. In yeah, I'm thinking text. your pretty face 
face is going to hell. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I like that. If I opened up and gave them, would you hurt me, baby? All right, so while there is working on that, um, I thought I'd show you some of her other works that she's done. Um, this is probably my favorite one, and this other one is so sick as well, but this is this one has got me going. So um, this one here says every, every pretty flower, every lovely flower, every deadly flower, and the roses and the thorn, thorn halo on the back are amazing. All right, so I found a better image of the jacket um that's really wearing it there himself but i also um did some research and i have looked up this before but i have forgotten um so one some people think that the reason he has this on his jacket is because the stooges actually have a song apparently called uh your pretty face is going to hell do you know that Alyssa? do you know what you got the stooges i do do you know that song i'm gonna say yes <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's some, where some people are saying it comes from, um, so that could be it, but I just really like the phrase, I just think it's just, I don't know, I just really like it. Alright, so I've just had a little play with one of the rings um, and I've made what I think kind of looks like barbed wire but I only have black wire at the moment. The plan with this is I think I'm going to like pop them on the shoulder of the coat. Um, so like kind of like the, 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 down the shoulder of the coat. Um, but I do need black wire. Uh, wire uh, silver wire um, because I just feel like these would look more like barbed wire around these rings if they were silver. I'll show you guys an up close. So see what I mean? It's kind of like, kind of like barbed wire-ish. Um, I just think I need silver wire to make it look more like barbed wire. Okay, so here is the current uh, floor situation and what it looks like when <laughs> we are creating, but the painting portion of this is pretty much done now. I've done three coats and I've um, made the edges of the writing sort of as neat as I can. Um, and if we come down, what I'm currently working on now is with a measuring tape, I have marked with all these pins I've marked where I want to place spikes because I'm hoping to have spikes running um, all the way down the back of the coat, like in the spine area, I suppose. Um, I'm going to get started on this and when I'm sort of a portion of the way through it, I'm going to show you guys where I'm at and how it's going, um, but wish me luck because I'm about to put holes in this and I feel like once you put holes in it, you can't go back. So, <laughs> um, Also, I'm currently watching... Alex, if you guys know who Alex is, she is an Australian YouTuber that does a lot of hauls and stuff. Um, and all of her stuff is pastel, which is very contradictory to what I'm doing right now, but hey Alex. <laughs> um, what we're doing right now, in the last clip I showed you, I was getting ready to start the back of the, um, there we go, the back of the coat. Um, and it was so... It, it, it is so much easier to start the back of this coat than I thought it was going to be. I th thought I was going to struggle to like put a hole through the coat at all, but um, it went fine. So I'm just going to show you guys how I've done that, and then I'm going to show you at the end what it looks like. Alright, so as you can see, I've already got the first stud through the coat. Um, it is a screw back one, so all I did was pop the hole in it, pop the screw through, and then with the, actually with what I thought I was going to stretch the hole with, um, the screwdriver, I just obviously use that to screw the back on. So, um, like I said before, I've got pins marking where I want them to go. I believe I've got 20 spikes. Um, so what I've done is I will take the pin out. Oh, and almost lose my spot. No, I can see it. There it is. Take the pin out. And then with my unpick, quick unpick, um, I'm finding the hole that I want to make. I'm going in the center. It's gonna be really hard to show. I'm going in the center of the stitching that you can see there. And then, where that tiny little hole is, I am popping a hole 
into the fabric. So just kind of winding it through until it wants to pop out the other side. If you can see that, hopefully, yep. Come through the other side and then pulling that one back out. And then just to sort of help make it longer, uh, bigger just so the screw will fit through it. I'm just popping a knife into it too. Obviously I should be using like a board or something to back this, but I'm not. So just um, be safe and don't stab yourself basically. Um, I'm just kind of making that hole a little bit wider. I'm just being really careful how wide I'm making as well. Cause I don't want the, obviously want the stud to fall out. Getting my little screw, uh, little screw in the back side of the coat. I'm just finding that hole. Come on through, yeah, come on. Oh my God. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so as you can, hopefully as you can see that the screw is now through. And then I'm just taking, making sure that material is pushed all the way down the screw, taking my spike, turning it on, uh, twisting it on to the material like that. And then with my little trusty screwdriver, I'm just grabbing the top of the spike oh. and then tightening it up. So there we go. Hey guys, I've um, just set up my lunch. So I'm gonna eat while I talk to you briefly. Um, it's like three days since I last did anything to my coat um, because it was like, it's, it was Saturday and Sunday. I'm trying to get in this mindset of like, even though we're inside in isolation, like trying to still have my weekdays as normal. So during the week I'm productive, during the weekends I'm doing whatever I want to do, whether that's being productive or not. Um, so it was Saturday and Sunday, and I think on Friday as well, I got a little bit like, uh, I can't be bothered. So I didn't do anything to the coat in the last three days or so. Um, and I also kind of was struggling for a bit of inspiration. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our lunch. Our lunch today is um, my like, uh, <laughs> glammed up uh, ramen. So basically how I do my ramen, is I get the packet, I fry eggs, and I make sure the top of the, um, like the yolk of the eggs is still runny. Because when you break that up inside the ramen, it makes the ramen uh, soup, I suppose, go kind of creamy. Um, I also add extra fried onions. These pieces here are uh, vegan or vegetarian um, smoked ham. I love this stuff, it's so good. I think it's by Tofurky. So they're really delicious. Uh, so that's the ramen. And then I also eat it with seaweed. Um, I love dried seaweed at the moment, I'm addicted, and I've got a bowl of edamame as well. So that is lunch, but let's have a, let's have a bit of a, bit of a sip. Yeah, I'll tell you what guys, adding an egg makes everything so much more delicious. All right, so I have changed my outfit and I've thrown on some lipstick. Um, the top is from a brand called Little Viper. They're a Melbourne-based brand and the girls are lovely who run it. Um, if you want to pick up some of their stuff, I'll leave a link to their website below. But it just says angels and snakes on the back and on the back, which you probably can't see, um, it says Little Viper there. So anyway, change into that. I feel a bit more like ready to do the next part of this jacket. All right, so the last time I think I showed you guys the jacket, I was in the middle of um, putting spikes down the, like the spine is what I'm calling it. I've completed that now. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but on the back I've run spikes all the way down. Um, it's because the light sort of picks it up. It might be a little bit tricky. And don't worry, at the end of all this, I will be showing you guys um, like a how I styled it and all the details as well. But there is now um, spikes down the spine. In fact, I might do a close up right now. Yeah, so there you go. Spikes running through the back and it does go all the way down, um, all the way down to like basically like the tail area of the coat. Um, I'm super happy with the way they turned out. So that's the spike element of the back of the coat done. Now the back of the coat is starting to look really cool. So remember I popped a little uh, clip in or filmed a little clip of me making the barbed wire, but I made it in black. The ring was silver, but the barbed wire piece was black. I've now made six of them um, in silver and they were pretty easy to make. A little time consuming and fiddly, but in terms of like um, skill level, anybody could really make these. Basically what I just did was I got a, um, I got some 
focus. I got just like a little silver ring and uh, a piece of wire and then I just wrapped the wire around. At the end of it I like clipped off the excess and now we have these little sweet little barbed wire rings. Now the idea with these was that I was going to place them on the shoulders of the jacket. Um, so they were going to sort of go like on the shoulders. Oh God, am I, this is like so awkward. I'm not very good at this kind of thing. On the shoulders, kind of like that on the coat. But the only way I can do them, because I don't actually have any breaks in the rings, because the rings are just made from plastic. Um, the only way I can do that is to sew them on. So basically today's mission at the minimum is to sew the rings onto the shoulders. I'm going to do three on each side, so I need to measure, mark, and then sew them in. So that is today's plan. If I think of anything along the way that I want to do, then I will maybe also put that in. But for now, we're just doing that. I've sewed on top. So that is where the barbed wire is on now. Um, it kind of looks like that sitting across the top of the jacket. I'm actually a lot happier with this one than I thought I was going to be. I was quite hesitant to go forward and pop these on, but I'm actually really happy that I did because I just... I just like the way it sort of finishes the top of the shoulders of the coat. I ended up both sewing the top to stop the ring from obviously coming off. And also I just sewed through the barbed wire because I also wanted to stop that from moving around and it's sitting unevenly. So right now, that is the look of the coat from the front and from the back. Um, I'm just gonna pop it on so you all can see. That is the barbed wire like rings on top of the shoulder so i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with that i'm happy that i went through with it all right i'm gonna go and take a break my hair fever is killing me so see you guys in the next section of this video hey all so i am on to the next part of my coat so the last thing that i did which i showed y'all was pop the barbed wire on the shoulders. It's now finished with that part. The part that I'm gonna do today, which should hopefully pre be pretty like um, quick, is I'm going to put some piercings through the collar of the coat. Through these parts of the coat, um, I'm going to be putting these big circular barbells through. These are pretty thick. I think they're probably like maybe 14, oh, sorry, uh, maybe 14 or 12 gauge. So, through this top corner here, I'm just gonna push a hole through and hopefully not fuck it up. Ah, there we go. I don't know if you guys have seen one of my other videos, but I talk about a little bit about my piercings and also being a body piercer. Um, so hopefully some of my body piercing knowledge has come in handy for this. Um, let's see. I actually really like that. So that is the first one. I'm going to do the other four now and then show you all the finishing product. This is the jacket now with the little piece of jewelry, uh, body jewelry through them. So they hang off the side like that. And like that. I'm pretty happy this coat is coming together so well considering I actually was almost going to sell this co coat on Depop and then um, my housemate Alyssa told me to not do it because we would paint it and make it better and that is exactly what's happening so cool all right I'll see you guys when I get ready and do my next weird random idea on this coat and hopefully two or so more like little DIYs and it will be done and there'll be an outfit video it'll be great so it's been a couple of days since I last filmed anything or did anything to this coat because I feel like the more I'm putting onto it, the harder it's getting to make sure that it looks like cohesive and, um, and works together. So today um, I'm working mostly on the front. I have decided what I'm going to do on part of the pockets and then at some point I need to figure out what I'm going to do painting wise on the front because I feel like the front needs paint now that the back has so much on it. I am going to sew these little piercings. Um, this jewellery onto the um, line of the pocket here. Uh, there are six there and I've got another 
Uh, I've got another six up here that are going to go on the other side. And I think along with the rest of the coat, that's going to start looking like fairly cohesive. And then after I sew that, we're going to look into maybe some painting on the front. Um, I'm not 100% sure what kind of like painting I want to do um, or how much more I want to put on the front. Um, but that's today. Filming this coat of like the sewing parts and showing y'all has been like the hardest thing ever. Um, but that's what that looks like now. So all of those rings are sewed onto the pockets. So you can't, can't see all of them from the front because they cut, uh, swing around the coat. But I kind of, I think I like that. I think it matches what I've done with the top of the shoulders here as well. Um, kind of has the same vibe to it. So... That's another part of the jacket done and I'll probably see you all in the next few days after I decide um, slash get the confidence to confidence to actually paint onto the front of it. So we are um, doing the last little part of the painting of the jacket today. And I think this might kind of be the final thing I do to it. I may add some like other stuff to the jacket um, in terms of like like add-ons like little metal rings and chains and stuff like that maybe but this is like the final like painting part of the, the jacket i am behind the camera today i will not be in front of the camera um but i know i'm gonna try and show you all in the oop, little peak of the jacket right there um it's coming along nicely and yeah we're gonna get some paint on today and the next few days will be me just layering on the paint letting it dry laying it on until it's nice and um white and then that might be it, so let's get started. All right, y'all, so the coat is pretty much done, I think. The last kind of touch I made, apart from the painting that I did up there, um, is I just attached these uh, quilt pins to, sorry, quilt pins to the um, buttonholes of the coat, because I don't actually plan on wearing this buttoned up. Um, I prefer the shape of it when it's open. Uh, so I've just popped these two quilt pins, uh, quilt pins, I keep saying quilt, quilt pins on um, the buttonholes. There is an extra buttonhole down here that I don't have another quilt pin for. Um, but that's okay. I kind of, I kind of like it. It's without it. It's totally fine. Doesn't worry me. Um, so I think we're pretty much done with the jacket. Okay. So it is actually probably two or three weeks after I finished making the coat. I just wanted to come on here and film an outro, I guess, to this quite long video. Um, like I said, the coat is now finished. I have also shot a how I style the coat video, which will be on, sorry, which will be up after this video, I think. Um, so if you want to see how I style that, I will link it in this video somewhere once I've, up I've uploaded it. Um, I'm so happy with the way the coat turned out. I just really, ha I'm happy that I didn't get rid of it because the original plan was to sell the coat. But once my housemate Alyssa was like, don't sell the coat, we'll try and make it better. Um, and we made it better. I'm just like, I can't believe I tried to sell it before. Like, why am I not um, like up cycling old things that I don't wear anymore? So I'm just gonna briefly show y'all the coat. Um, and like I said, if you wanna see how I style it, please feel free to watch that video when it's out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so here is the final look of the coat. Um, obviously we've got the text on the back. Uh, I'm super, again, super happy with how this one turned out and the chain as the belt was such a good idea. I don't actually do that chain up now when I wear it, um, but I just think it adds a nice extra like chunkiness to the back. So this is the look of the front of the coat. Um, as you guys would have seen, um, I, we did the barbed wire uh, rings across the shoulders. Again, these turned out really well. I think they sit really well. Now in the video of the styling and also me making it, you'll see that I ended up putting rings, um, like earrings, uh, through the collars. I actually went to a um, small, very small gathering 
um, obviously within the restriction laws. I'm at a friend's house for a few drinks and I actually lost the um, rings off them. So I replaced them, with, I replaced them with safety pins, which is also totally fine. I do prefer the look of the rings, but again, like safety pins are very punk and very um, aesthetic matching to this coat. And then you can see the detail of the painting on the collar there. Same with this side. We have the kilt pins through the buttonholes there and the detailing of the painted um, chain all the way down. I really wanted to go with this look of the chain because I feel like it's going to lend to a um, <clears throat> like a tailored waist sort of look even though the coat itself is quite big. And then lastly we have the pockets here which I pop the small little piece of jewellery on. I think there's a little bit of paint there, whoops. Um, this one, like, I I like it, but I'm not, like, it's not my favourite part of the coat. So, um, I don't know, I couldn't really think of anything else to do, but I definitely wanted to highlight the pockets because they're quite big. So, you know what, I think it's actually a pretty good, good idea that I went with that. So, on the front, I think my favourite part is probably the uh, barbed wire rings on the shoulder. And I'm kind of torn between the stars or the chain on the waist. But I think they're the stars. I think they're just like a really nice little extra piece. And on the back, I cannot decide. This is like the back part of this coat is my entire favorite part of it. Like the chain is so cool. The spikes down the center are really cool. And of course the text is like so graphic and so in your face. So I can't decide what my favorite part of it is. All right, so like I said, if y'all want to see how I styled the coat, um, then definitely look out for that video when it's been uploaded. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be uploaded probably a week or so after this one. Um, thank you all so, for, so much for watching. I have really appreciated having you on board for this, and I really want to make more upcycle videos.